a feeling around the league is that the 49ers are listening to offers on Debo. Now, granted, Debo just put out a tweet, and I'm not 100% sure what it means or who he's taking a shot at. Might be taking a shot at us and all the people in the media world. Oh, no. He put out a tweet to basically saying that people are talking about a situation that don't have a clue what they're talking about. They're just talking about what other people are talking about. They're just basically nobody knows anything, and then he's saying, have a good one, basically. Have a good one. Because the conversation today is that the Jets are ready to make a very aggressive offer to the San Francisco 49ers to get Debo Samuel. Allegedly, uh, Bob Sala, you know, big time San Francisco 49er, uh, you know, like roots, knows Debo, knows how impressive Debo is. In the AFC East, they were in on the Tyreek Hill trade, mm -hmm. even though Tyreek ended up going to Miami. Uh, Akash Anna Verathan is reporting that the feeling around the league is that the 49ers are listening to offers on Debo Samuel and the Jets are going to put together such a massive package for Samuel that they won't be able to turn it down. And that comes from Tony Pauline of Pro Football Network, I That's believe. That's right. So shout out to Tony Pauline who's been in the news a couple different times. We don't know if it's real or if it's not real, but Tony Pauline speaking that good shit. Uh, the Jets are going to go all in on Debo Samuel. Definitely a player that's worthy of such a thing. Well, the Niners, listen, John Lynch just said the other day he can never imagine getting to a point where he'd want to move on from Debo. He's such a good player. Is that him negotiating publicly with teams like, hey, you're going to have to bring a deal that is going to be worth big. We will not know but good on the jets if they end up getting debo i guess aj yeah okay so do we have any time frame on when this may happen when this trade could happen and are there other teams involved because obviously you want multiple people trying to bid on this everybody says that the draft is the reason why a lot of things happen because there is active pieces to be able to be gained quickly so everybody's assuming this is all going to happen during the draft time, but everybody's assuming that the Baker Mayfield stuff was going to happen during the draft or before the draft, and then reports are coming out. Uh, wait until you see what happens at the first round. They might do this later in the week or next week or something like that. None of us know anything, and I'm sure Debo Samuel is just reading alongside of it all and listening to his agent, Tori Dondi, who also reps A.J. Brown and D.K. Metcalf. It is quite an interesting situation. The draft always brings magical moments, magical memories, and big-time blockbuster moves.